Singbe Pie was born in 1814 in what is present day Sierra Leone. He is also known as Joseph Sinke or Sinkes. Singbe Pie was of the Mende people of Sierra Leone. Singbe was sold to a Spanish slave trader in Sierra Leone who imprisoned him on the Portuguese slave ship Tecora. The Portuguese slave ship Tecora set sail from Sierra Leone to Havana, Cuba in violation of European treaties against the Atlantic slave trade. Although slavery was still legal, the trafficking of African people to the Americas was illegal. In Havana, Cuba is where two Spanish slave traders purchased 53 captives including Singbe Pie. The 53 captives were loaded onto the slave ship La Amistad, which means in Spanish, the friendship. The captives were being transported to the plantations near the present day city of Camagüe, Cuba. Singbe Pie was able to unshackle himself and others and started a revolt. They took control of the ship, La Amistad, killing the captain and the cook. Three African captives were also killed in the revolt. Singbe ordered the two Spanish slave traders that had purchased them to set sail to Africa. But what they didn't realize was that they were sailing northward along the eastern seaboard of the USA. The two Spanish slave traders were hoping that the boat would be intercepted and forced to be turned around and send the Africans back to Cuba. In August of 1839, the Lamistad was intercepted by a U.S. ship and seized near Long Island, New York. Singbe and his fellow Africans were taken to jail in New Haven, Connecticut and charged with murder and piracy. The Spanish slave traders were arrested as well and charged with enslaving free Africans. In 1808, the United States had abolished the international slave trade. However, slavery was still legal in America in 1839 when this case received international attention. The foreign minister of Spain wanted the Lamistad to be returned to the Spanish slave traders along with the African captives. During the court proceedings, the legal counsel for Spain had lied and said that the African captives of the Mende people were born in Cuba. The lower courts had ruled in favor of the African captives and the Spanish government appealed the prior decisions and the case went up to the U.S. Supreme Court in 1841 and the U.S. Supreme Court ruled that the Mende captives had been illegally transported and held as slaves and rebelled in self-defense. The U.S. Supreme Court ordered them freed. The U.S. government did not provide any financial assistance to repatriate these 35 Mende people back to Africa. An African-American organization named the United Missionary Society, which was founded by James W. C. Pennington, raised the money that enabled these 35 Mende people to return back home to Africa in 1842.